This is part two of two for this video. Now let's go and put this on scene one. So we'll select scene one. And we have nothing on scene one. And what we'll do is drag the red rectangle rotation clockwise movie clip onto the stage. I'm going to put it in the top left quadrant of the stage. And we'll notice that we cannot do control play because we only have one keyframe or only one frame on this timeline. But the movie clip itself has its own timeline and it will run on its own whenever it's visible on another timeline, which it happens to be the only object here. And in order to see that, you'll need to use Control Test Movie. And we can see the movie now playing and you can see the use of the movie clip timeline playing over and over because there's nothing to stop it. So we'll close this test movie window and we'll do this again using the same layer, the same keyframe because we're just demonstrating things and we'll drag that same red rectangle rotation clockwise movie clip in. We'll put it in the top right quadrant and with the free transform tool if it's still on use that and resize it to a different size. I'm going to make it smaller so the top, I'll just go to the top right corner where I have the resize icon, hold the shift key down and just make it smaller. Again, I'll test the movie. There's a shortcut key that you can use or you can use the menu, control test movie. And we now see that the same movie clip is being used twice and each one is playing independently. And what we have done is changed the properties of these two instances of the same movie clip. So the movie clip is a symbol which is like the master and if we select properties and I'll go back to the selection tool just to be clear and select each one of these we can see that the properties are different for the instance and even says instance up here it's an instance of and we can see that's not completely shown but the red rectangle rotation clockwise movie clip and these are the properties that we can change there's many different properties and we'll be exploring those as we go through different exercises but the ones we're working on are position and size at this point and we'll go to the first one and you can see the differences in its x and y position and its height and width so that was so much fun let's do one more and so what we'll do is go back to the library and drag the red rectangle rotation clockwise onto the stage and let's do something with its properties that we haven't tried yet, we'll go to Properties and we have this one selected and we'll go to Filters. Now we're not going to learn all the details of filters but we can with a little effort create a, a nice effect. So we have the Filters slider window open under Properties and down in the bottom right corner or bottom left corner I meant there's an Add Filter icon and the filter we're going to add is a Glow Filter and now we see properties for that and let's change the blur X and blur Y we don't need to know what these actually do at this point we'll just change them and do it by experiment and you'll notice on stage we now have a red glow around the outside edges of the rectangle and then we can change the color if you like and I'll just choose regular blue and we get almost a purplish look on the stage and so we can learn how glows work but more importantly this is another instance of the original red rectangle rotation clockwise movie clip and so we have one of the properties of its instance change and we'll test the movie I'll use the shortcut key in this case and it works just like the others only it has different properties so you can close that and save your practice flash document one more time. I'll use the shortcut key on that. Okay, let's play this one more time. Control test movie. Okay, that gives you a great start on how to build flash movies using multiple movie clips. We started with a single movie clip and we drew a red rectangle shape into that movie clip so we could use it more than once. That is the red rectangle shape. 
Then we created a second movie clip and we put the first one inside of it and animated it as a rotation, clockwise rotation. Then we took the animated movie clip and we put it on the stage in three different places. These are called instances. And in each instance we change something about the properties, the position, the XY coordinates, and we also were introduced to the instance property called filters. So this is how we build Flash movies with multiple movie clips, and this is a good starting example.